Kumar sharing with you a challenge question on fractions. We need to find midpoint. The question here is, write a fraction halfway between each pair. So we have two questions here. Let us see how to solve them. So the first one is, we are given two fractions, 8 over 6 and 10 over 4. We need to find a fraction halfway between these two. How are you going to do it? Well, whenever we have fractions, it is important to have same denominator. The common denominator is 12. So the lowest common denominator is equals to 12. Let's rewrite them with denominator of 12. 6 times 2 is 12. So the first fraction, we multiply both by 2. 8 times 2 is 16. The other one, we need to multiply by 3, right? So we get 30 over 12. So these fractions can be written as equivalent fractions. So we have equivalent fractions, correct? Now, it is kind of important or easy, I should say, to find the midpoint. Midpoint is right in the center, right? So the midpoint will be, you can add 16 and 30 and then divide by 2, correct? So 16 plus 30, let's do it by calculator. 16 plus 30 equals to 46. And when you divide this by 2, you get the number 23, right? So that is 23. Of course, the denominator has to be 12. So halfway between is the point which has the value 23 divided by 12. So our answer is 23 over 12 is halfway between the given pair, right? So that is the answer for us. Let's do the next one now. So I know you have understood the strategy at this time. So why not stop the video, answer, and then check with my solution, okay? Now let's find midpoint of 2 over 5 and 5 over 10. So first step is write down as equivalent fraction with same denominator, lowest common denominator in this case is 10. So I will multiply the first fraction, both numerator and denominator by 2 to get 10, right? So we get 4 over 10. The next one is already 5, so 5 over 10. Now, as we found the midpoint, if I do 4 plus 5 divided by 2, I get 4.5 it is a decimal number so now how do i get the fraction out of it for cases what should we do what we can do is we can go with higher denominator so instead of 10 let's multiply both by 2 so what do we get we get 8 over 20 and we get 10 over 20 do you see that now it is kind of easier to find the midpoint Midpoint is between 8 and 10. So now 8 plus 10 divided by 2 gives us 9. And the midpoint is 9 over 20. Do you see that? So at times, when you get a decimal number, you could go to higher denominator so that you avoid decimal in writing. If you write 4.5 over 10, it's kind of an incorrect answer. Avoid that. That's the whole idea, right? I hope you appreciate this concept. Thank you and all the best.